अंडरस्टैंडिंग द ग्रेट वे इज नॉट डिफिकल्ट इफ वी आर नॉट अटैच टू आर प्रेफरेंसेज प्रेफरेंसेज आर बेस्ड ऑन आर थॉट्स वट वी डीम राइट आर रॉन्ग गुड आर बैड आर लाइक्स एंड डिसलाइक्स वी कॉन्ट इमेजिन एनी थिंग विदाउट प्रेफरेंसेज वी ऑफन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड आर सेल्व थ्रू आर थॉट्स becoming rigid and unable to see the truth as it is if we try to understand spirituality according to our preferences we will never know the truth preferences keep us from being thoughtless and liberated truth is not grasped through ideas or thoughts preferences are not a problem unless we become too attached to them when you look at truth through any preference you fail to see it as it is preferences are essential in our daily actions like distinguishing between good and bad smells they are necessary for functioning in the world we might seek to improve our lives through spirituality which is a preference However trying to understand spirituality through this lens means we will never grasp the truth in our daily operations preferences will always exist but when the desire to gain or achieve disappears we attain freedom from preferences knowing the truth and the suffering at the level of understanding However psychological suffering and operational desires and fears persist even after knowing the truth the truth changes our understanding not our actions to know the truth let go of unrealistic expectations don't assume the world will change once you understand the truth spirituality doesn't need a complicated mind but a simple one expectations are necessary for worldly operations but not for spirituality scientists can't reach the truth through preferences a scientific mind is needed to understand truth or spirituality the great way is the path to truth not a way of life truth is understood by questioning our own beliefs that is the beginning of intelligence truth is easy to grasp for those who don't filter it through thoughts while our understanding changes some things in the world remain constant the mind dwells on the past creating the future from it and interpreting the present based on the past the mind has no direct connection to truth everything in the mind is finite however something exists beyond our mind feelings emotions understanding and memory the truth has no form it simply exists when neither love nor hate arises everything is clear and undisguised even the smallest separation makes you as distant from the truth as heaven is from earth in truth there is no separation in the universe in god in nature in humanity everything is interconnected we are connected to water without it we would not exist we are not separate from water we are water separation occurs in thought not in reality when we think we are separate we are as far from the truth as the earth is from the sky there are ideas about reality and reality itself separation arises from thoughts about reality about me and you the moment we think in terms of you and me we create separation the truth is that there is no separation anywhere in this universe particles may seem separate but they are part of one wave life has infinite layers but we often get stuck on the burn and start thinking accordingly to understand life 
we must move beyond images and preferences and avoid unnecessary imaginations this world is full of images and we are imprisoned by them when we free ourselves from these images the truth appears as it is to see the truth we must let go of preconceived notions we are trapped in self preservation life is in the present moment see what is in the present moment for it is the truth the unknown vastly exceeds what we know where there is truth nothing needs to be said lies and stories need interpretation the truth does not the truth requires no validation of any kind have you ever felt that there is more to you than just your body and mind well you are right you are a unique and pure perceptive essence truly one without a second we often identify ourselves with our ego full of limitations and see our bodies as our true identity but just like the wave in the ocean which is a merely an appearance of water our ego and body are just appearances of something much deeper imagine the ocean the water in it is not separate from the waves in reality there is only water similarly there is only consciousness and what we see as our individual selves are just appearances you are one without a second absolutely pure and untouched by anything consider this the body is like a water bubble just an appearance and nothing more you are not your body you are the awareness behind it this awareness is present in every color of the universe that awareness is you there is a single spirit in all creation this universal consciousness doesn't arise and doesn't die it simply is when consciousness interacts with objects in space it appears to dance in the form of bubbles but whether these bubbles exist or not consciousness remains constant and eternal whatever is experienced through any object or instrument is ultimately happening to you we often think we are confined to our bodies but the body is merely an instrument awareness and consciousness transcend these physical limitations unifying all experiences into one understanding that you are not just this body but a pure unique consciousness can transfer how you see the world and yourself embrace this realization and let it guide you towards deeper spiritual understanding thank you for joining us on this journey if you are found this video enlightening please like share and subscribe for more spiritual insights thank you so much and love you all